Sunrise Interviews is brought to you by Valley Strong Credit Union. Welcome back. Joining us this morning, David Anderson, financial advisor and managing partner with MoneyWise, here to tell us a little bit more about the changing economy as we continue to progress through the pandemic and a sluggish recovery. All right, Dave, good morning. Good to see you, sir. Yeah, good morning. Thank you. Let's talk about interest rates this morning because the Federal Reserve has said that interest rates will stay near zero, possibly through 2023 until the U.S. economy completely heals from the ongoing pan pandemic. What does this do for our economy as a whole and what does it mean for like me personally? Yeah, so it certainly is helpful for individuals. Uh, if you're looking to refinance or buy a home, well, you can, get, you can get amazing rates. Now, maybe you're not in the market of buying a home, but potentially you have credit cards and other debt. What you're going to see is the cost of that debt coming down. So it's gonna be easier for families from an interest rate perspective to get control of their debt, which is really good. Does that mean like I should call and, and try and get a lower rate on my credit card if I have you know, an outstanding balance? Absolutely, that's, that's a great idea. Uh, we recommend that all the time, call and just say, hey, can you lower rates? Rates have come down, and so they're they're more than likely to work with you at this stage, but you have to be proactive about it. Okay, absolutely. Make that call. <laughs> I mean, the worst they can say is no, right? Um, exactly. <laughs> let's talk about the new numbers that came out yesterday. Uh, the weekly unemployment claims, they were a little lower than expected, but still, you know, is it really showing that our economy is surging ahead in a recovery or not so much? Yeah, you know, it's kind of what we've been seeing of late, which the numbers are getting better, which is really good to see. Uh, first time unemployment claims are coming down, but they're still incredibly high, over 800,000 in terms of the state claims. So that's what it shows. It shows that, that where there's still a lot of problems out there, a lot of weakness, but we are getting better slowly, which is which I'm optimistic about. And let's talk about home building. Uh, that was down in August. The number of groundbreakings dropped more than 5% last month. Are we going to see that happen here in Bakersfield if it hasn't happened already? Well, that's one of the reasons why the real estate market has been doing so well. There's been low inventory. And so when the housing starts come out and say, well, hey, it's a little bit lower, that, that means they're building less homes. That might give you the impression that housing's not doing good, but it's actually the opposite. Mm -hmm. Because there's such a small supply, it's driving the price up. And the other issue with, with housing there, which can maybe give people the wrong impression that it's stronger than it is, is during this pandemic, it's primarily been low-income workers that have been impacted the most, and they are usually renters. So those that have money and that can take advantage of these low interest rates are doing that, driving the prices up, but we still have a stubbornly low inventory of homes, and that's a problem long term. So really that divide is kind of getting bigger between those on the low end of the spectrum and the high end of the spectrum when it comes to the economy. Yeah, exactly. All right, Dave, we are out of time this morning, sir, but thank you so much for breaking down these numbers for us and these trends. We really appreciate it. You bet. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right. We'll